Abidjan, a vibrant city with promising prospects, has provided Ghanaians with numerous opportunities and a sense of solace in its thriving economy. The sale of second-hand shoes has become a popular business among Ghanaians in the Ivory Coast. At Treadville Marche, Ghanaian residents are actively engaged in sustaining their livelihood. Asamoa is one of them. I have to live in Kasano. I to say, like, I have full independence, but I live in my life, say, like, US, I have to know. Unless, like, you have to come to me, say, I'm Africans. But I have to say, life, no. To say, Ghana, small, no man can think it will be concerned, I have to say, I've been here. I've been here about 2019, how many years? Almost been five years in here. I've been here a ton of. This is in country, I have to get two significant persons. I've been here a ton of time, I have to say, no. It's the same as 2024. The living here can be compared to that of the Western world. They live like an independent nation. Also, prices of goods and services have remained the same since 2019. Bismarck, Richard and Yame, who have no plans to return to Ghana, highlighted the valuable lessons to be learned from the third most populous West African country. business. Uh, uh, because so the government we are not being funded, the kind of Ghana and Tunisia. There are a lot of things working here in terms of development and business climate. In terms of roads, Ghana cannot match up. Sana Brabana si kwa nuko Ghana alidi, mwa edin. Hmm. We believe that Ghana is better than Wababra. Na sana si kwa alidi, mintu mi. Hmm. Biya wati a honto ano. Life in Ghana was unbearable for me, and so coming to Ivy Coast has been the best decision. With a little I have seen, Ivy Coast is far developed. I want to work here for a very long time. Let me share something interesting with you. And so the second-hand shoes you see in Ivory Coast were brought in by Ghanaians. And so in the mid-2000, it was very illegal to bring them in. And so some arrests were made. But the situation is quite different now. And now there's this mad rush for second-hand shoes compared to the new ones. And so for most Ivorians, uh, the you know, second-hand ones last longer than the new ones. Christabel, also Ghanaian, has been living in the Ivory Coast for 10 years. She sells ice kinky and consistently visits her first port of call, the Ghanaian community. She reveals she's performing better than in her previous years in Ghana. For most Ghanaians living here in Ivory Coast, it's not really their desire to live here, but it's because of the system that has necessitated that. And so for them, if some measures are put in place to enhance their standard of living back home, why not? They will stay. George Quinn, TV3 News, Treasurville, Ivory Coast.